Hello, I'm Rowan from SeaTouch and I'm here today to talk to you about our Octopus whiteboard software and run through some of the features on it and the principle of how it works. Octopus has been designed as a very simple whiteboarding tool that's very, very easy for people to use if they're using it for the first time and also very easy if people are migrating across from things like Promethean or Smart Software or such like. Um, it gives a nice easy interface for people to transition. So, First things first is the toolbar is kept very sleek and simple, so you can reach things within most things within a couple of clicks. Um, you can also hide the toolbar with one touch and go full screen on the whiteboard mode. The reason the toolbar is quite easy to sort of grasp as you as you go forward and, and learn the software is because we work on a two-stage toolbar. So what I mean by that is we only have one icon here for a pen which saves us filling up the whole software toolbar with lots of different pens. So once you select a pen, you get a secondary toolbar that appears, which enables me to change the thickness, the transparency, and the color of the pens. The colors even go down to Pantone color, so all the options are there, but it prompts you to do it with that secondary toolbar. The screen is capable of multiple touch, as is the software, so you can have a number of students using the software at any one time. So you can now bring students up in pairs, etc., or small groups. There's also a selection tool here, so I can select a number of objects and move them around together. So um, if I wanted to erase it, for instance, you'll notice the bin only appears as you start to move something, and I can drag that and put that into the bin. The other pen that we have here, um, and I can always use the stylus by the way, not just my finger, um, is a handwriting pen. So I can literally just write something and convert it into text. Um, but I can also write numbers and convert those as well. So if I write a basic sum up on the screen there and then hit convert, you'll notice it converts it straight into our maths tool. One of the main benefits of Octopus is that all the software is in one place, so I never have to leave this one program. Um, many of our competitors' software, you have to open various different titles to do certain tasks. With Octopus, I've picked up a pen, I've written a sum there, it's converted into our maths toolbar, and if you look carefully, the little grey arrow, that actually enables us to ask that out to mobile devices. So we've done those three stages in one really easy process within one piece of software. So just leading back to the main toolbar, I'm not going to go through everything, um, but you've got some basic line tools there. Text box, for instance, again, I drag a, drag a text box, and using that two-stage toolbar, it now gives me all the options for my text below. So it's very easy to follow uh, as a first-time user. If I draw a shape, I've got standard shapes here, but also I've got a tool that actually finishes those shapes off for me. And labouring the point of that two-stage toolbar, if I want to know, think, well, what can I do with that triangle now? I don't have to look around menus or anything. Simply click on the triangle and all the options for it are given below. So I can lock it in place, I can rotate it, send it front to back, send, make the center color solid, etc., etc. So it's really easy to grasp. There's also some um, gallery images built into the software as well. So we've got 3,000 clip art images built into the gallery. I can simply search within the software for a basic example of uh, some carrots, for instance, in this scenario. Um, and it means I don't have to break out to the internet to bring a basic image up. I can just do that within the software. Again, clicking on that image. You've, you've got all the options down below. I can attach a sound to it. I can make it more transparent. I can lock it in place, etc., etc. That um, media gallery will also link to a network drive as well. So if you want to share resources with fellow teachers, if you've got certain resources on a specific topic, you can drop them in that folder and your other teachers in your school can drag those resources out very easily from the media gallery without emails going back and forth, etc. Then there's some basic presentation tools. So we have a spotlight, which is particularly useful for guiding the student's attention to a certain area of the screen. Um, or if you're browsing the internet, for instance, um, you can make sure there's no inappropriate ads or banners on the web page before you actually open it up to go full screen. For detailed information, you've got a magnifying glass, um, which is particularly useful 
um, if you've got sort of small detailed information there, spreadsheets, etc. It's also a traditional screen shade um, if you just want to reveal things line by line. Just moving down the toolbar, undo, redo buttons, pretty straightforward, probably the most used buttons in software. Um, and then we've got three clear screen options. So the first clear screen option simply clears the page I'm on um, and starts afresh. The second clear screen function will take any annotations off the page. So if you've pre-made a resource and then you've used ink over the top of it to teach the subject and just want to take that ink off again, that's what that clear screen button will do. And then the third one is really useful if you've created drag and drop activities or labelling activities on the screen, it will reset the slide. So if you bring a student up to complete a drag and drop activity, hit the reset slide button, you can bring another student up straight away without having to drag everything back to where it originally was. Finally, we have some capture tools. So um, the first one here is bringing in any visualizer or webcam feeds so you can make it full screen. You could obviously take a picture of that and drag it out onto the desktop. The second one is screen recording, which um, records anything that you do on the screen and the audio over the top of it. So a really good example that I've seen used of that is if somebody was measuring the angles on the triangle, for instance, they could set the screen recording and play that on loop when they then go around the class and speak to the individual students. There, then the rest of the class can see on repeat what the exercise was. Another example of that would be recording a science experiment that you don't want to do every time you recap a lesson. You can just show the video of the original experiment. Right down to something as simple as recording handwriting um, on, on graph paper so you can play it back as a video. Parents can watch it and teach their children in the current curriculum format handwriting. So lots and lots of uses for that. You can also record sounds, which um, is exactly the same as the screen capture, but obviously it's capturing audio, so you can attach audio clips to various different objects, um, which is fantastic for modern foreign languages, as you can double-click on an item and hear the actual word in, in the language spoken. Okay, so that's the basic tools, really simple to grasp, um, and that has all been operated via this tool button here, the other two uh, buttons here, very simply, second one is the page sorter, so I can add pages, uh, delete pages and switch pages round in this page sorter. And then the third option is different backgrounds, so I've been using a white background here, but I also have the option for lined paper, handwriting paper, graph paper, um, pastel shades which are quite popular, um, or quite an interesting one right up at the top which is the glass layer. So what the glass layer enables me to do is actually bring any of these tools out, such as the spotlight, and use them over whatever's on my desktop. So instead of having to screen capture things into the whiteboard to use, I can actually just take the tools and use them over the top of any program. So if I had some resources, for instance, on the internet that I wanted to use these tools for, I can bring them over the top. At any time if I want to screen capture that, I simply start a new page and that will be captured as well. Thank you very much.